guys, what's up? It's Exony here, welcome back to the channel. Been a while, and um, I am very hyped about this next anniversary. Um, so we got Ish, the new vision, and Carl also coming. They are from the story with Il Mattel and Sid, so probably the new story will... Uh... Wait, yeah, Sid is getting a new vision actually. Awaken a ball, new vision. <laughs> I didn't pull it much, but... Carl and Ish are coming. And um, Il Mattel, uh, they are from the story from the uh, latest season. And uh, Neo Vision Awakenable Sid. So we have uh, confirmed jumpers. I think Il Mattel might be a jumper as well. Well, let, let's check out what they do. So we got a small NV premium step up summon. Um, there's a 4% rate for NV units, of course. Ish. Is the Grease Stricken Rival is available at X1. Posera E Stop reduce attack, defense, magic, spirit resistance to spears, ice resistance, and deal ice damage to all enemies. Fill own LB cost to max, of course. Super limit burst available from turn 5. Her vision card is attack and magic plus 30. No, attack and magic plus 70% at level 10. Uh, uh, abilities at 7 and 10, of course. Her Super Trust Master, attack plus 210, magic plus 198, two-handed weapon, each call Ilmatel only, dragon killer plus, and bug killer plus. Boost attack and magic by 500, boost physical and magic damage against dragons by 75%, and boost physical and magic damage against insects by 75%. Also guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are nearing 180 subscribers, I just lost two subscribers, don't know why, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to go to the 200 as fast as possible if i don't reach 300 subscribers i may not invest in youtube anymore just saying so if you guys can share my videos as much as possible uh all over the globe you know i'm a small youtuber i need some help from you guys thank you very much i'm trying my best to grow and uh comment down below what kind of videos i should create it works also if you just tell me that in the comments so Trustmaster is also purest of soldiers. Boost equipment, attack, and magic by 100% when a single katana spear or mace is equipped in one or both hands. Axe ability 500. Uh, sees ice damage here and reduces fire also. Her grandness ability. I will carry out all battles in front of me. Reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit for one enemy. Boost physical and magic damage against Messina monsters for all allies. That's a huge. This is this is really cool because. These new abilities, they grant all allies the damage boost. So we don't have to use like Maze, for example, or uh, other units that boost. Uh, Kaito is one of them also, he, he does also for all allies. So that's new, that's completely new. So we got Kull, uh, her uh, sidekick, I believe, or well, he does everything for, for each. So if you play the story, you know how it works. He has a super limit burst, um, reduce ice resistance and deal ice hybrid damage to one enemy. Okay, we got a hybrid damage dealer. And enable specific abilities for the caster. Magic shift, boost magic LB damage, fill LB cost to max for caster, available from turn 5. Uh, in the name of Ish Elites, level 10 attack and magic plus 80 and defense and spirit plus 40. That's a, that's a pretty cool fishing card actually. So, his Super Trust Master, attack plus 190, magic plus 232, two-handed weapon, uh, enable to chant Blazaya, ice spirits among the wind and flowers, gather at my blade, and freeze my foes. Enable specific abilities to be used three times in one turn, uh, activate one time each regardless of equipment conditions, boost damage of certain abilities, Boost damage of certain ability and reduce own spirit boost magic by the next attack for caster. And one use every four turns, reduce own spirit and boost magic for the next attack for caster. So that's a huge super trust master. But now I see this banner. Before we go into any further. There's a high probability that also uh, the two are coming in my intro. You know, uh, Nelika and uh, Rush, I believe. Uh, 
it's been a while since we got a story, so it's go it's going FFPE related this anniversary. So be advised to save your lapis as much as possible. Also, the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII just released a new chapter. Rebirth is coming. That means Sephiroth and Cloud might be part two for the anniversary. Rebirth. What we've done, that's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. So focus on the future, not the past. He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Jenova at his side. I saw you lying there. I figured it was too late. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? You were here with me. Five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. Feel like I failed you. Just saying. I'm not saying it's it, it's possible we're gonna get a Final Fantasy VII remake again. Maybe a dual unit. Cloud of Sephiroth, maybe together? I don't know. We have to see. Anyway, back to the topic. Crossmaster Ward boosts physical magic damage against Machina monsters by 100%, with second magic by 500. Uh, Grandest ability, boost attack and magic, ice damage of LB, ability magic LB damage of LB, fill LB cost for caster. So not for all allies, but yeah. It's pretty good. This is the, These units are pretty good for ice damage dealers. Now we go to Ilmatel. Uh, also super limit burst, super magic 14, boost attack, defense, magic spirit, LB damage, boost physical and magic damage against plants, Masina, stone monsters for all allies. Also all allies, guys. Automatically revive all allies one time. Also, that's that's also a very good uh, ability to have against giant, annoying monsters like uh, creatures that gave you 3,000 lapis or something. You know. Uh, super limit burst, LB cost max. Um, in the name of Isis elites, same vision cards as uh, Kal. So those two are the elites. This is probably the best of them, but Kal is also very good, so yeah. Uh, her Super Trust Master, healer units only, so all units that are healer, you can get the Super Trust Master. Defense Spirit MP plus 55%, uh, plus 55, sorry. With Fire, Ice, Lightning, Water resistance by 30, Enabled Barrier, Human Rune, Dragon Rune, Insect Rune, Activate Barrier for all allies, Magic Damage against humans, and Physical Magic and physical against dragons for one ally, for one ally, and boost physical magic damage against insects for one ally. So that's also a very huge super trust master. If you're going for her, definitely check out the super trust master. Save your super trust moogles as much as possible. If you don't know how to get them, go to exchange shop. You get enough super trust master tickets in order to get this. So. Crossmaster Ward Officer in Pursuit of Typhus boosts Fire Ice Lightning Resistance by 30% and fill LB cost by 400 every turn. Axe Ability uh, boosts Physical and Magic Damage against Insects for all allies. All allies! All allies! All allies! This is huge! This is huge! Really good. Uh, I might go for the tickets, actually. I do have Sid though, so she, he, he can be new if he's in the way to go. Uh, Machina Room boosts physical magic damage against Machina monsters for all an ally. And Spiritual Cure, Restore MB, boost all because fill rate for all allies. The Awaken plus 2 icon indicates that Awakenings are available for an ability. Ability is shown at the highest available Awakening at the time of release. Okay. Bye. Sid is getting a new vision. Uh, ooh, his brave ship looks amazing, actually. 
His new Super Thrustmaster is a Sky Feather. Attack was 175, but it's getting upgraded, of course. Uh, Hero's Vow, Wind. Uh, attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Boost damage for jump attacks. Boost attack by 500. Tornado Blast is getting a level 5 ability. Final Spine Shatter Dive at Wind Elemental. Own physical attack. Leap into the air, then attack one enemy in two turns when activated. So he is a Wind. Uh, finisher, I believe. Yeah, or it could be wrong. Just comment down below if, if maybe it's, it's a wind DPS or something. I do think he's a wind finisher, though. Well, as always, we get the countdown daily free summon. Uh, players can perform a daily summon to get one five star or new vision unit. So that this is better than <laughs> the energy uh, we got just now. I don't have a single NV unit out of the out of the free to play banners. Even I didn't get die. I actually didn't get die. I got all units except die. Uh, and I don't have the other for the, the second part of Dragon Quest. But anyway, everyone who has die, congratulations. He has amazing Super Trust Monster as well. And he has a lots of potential for the future coming up. Um, the 12 types takedown, a new highly difficult quest. Uh, the Death Machine will become available after 23 June. So that's after the maintenance. Uh, you get Machine Killer, of course. Machine Killer Plus Recipe. 5 star Select Summon Ticket. And of course, Super Trust Mobile Tickets. Machine Killer Plus. Insect Eater Sense. Uh, Super Trust Mobile. And a Rare Summon Ticket that can give you an NV. 5 star, 4 star, 3 star. So, mostly you can get like a 5 star nowadays out of these kind of tickets. 5 star slash Neo Vision. Other days. You just got crab luck like me, and you get a three star instead. Um, Proto Omega is gonna be uh, the next enemy for a mystery crystal. So these are really hard guys, these challenges. And you have to use Ishkar, Oriol Mattel, Rain, Laswell, Typhus, Tullian, Runda, Leftia, or Heve. Or whatever you pronounce it. Heve? I don't know. Um, but these guys are giving a boost for this event, so definitely check this out. And like I said, Season 4, Chapter 3, Part 1 is coming. I've never despised anyone like this before. It's strange to see rain like this. Uh, enough talk. Behold the strength of Unit 1's Lieutenant Commander. It's alright, we will save him, I swear. This is the time limit of the aid I can offer him here, should his condition deteriorate. We can't afford to be caught here. So, another amazing story coming up. Anyway, that's about it. So we're going from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 2. Then we go to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And maybe when the anniversary starts, something with Final Fantasy 7. Just keep this in mind. 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy 7 has just been released. I saw the live stream. Huge. Gonna be big. I'm sure Gumi is gonna do something with it. And that's about my video for today. Um, so um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Also guys, like I said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share as much as possible. We're trying to reach the 200 subscribers as much as possible. And uh, that will help me a lot through this period also. Because I was on a lot, under a lot of stress. That's why I didn't upload a lot of content recently. Just saying. Bye guys.